So here we are at Ryder's Ranch, and we're walking into the Saggy Sack Saloon. video I'm going to be taking the Balfour Ferry across to Kootenai Bay and the ride is going to be down Highway 3A from Crawford Bay all the way to Creston and then tonight I'm going to try to get to Riders Ranch and go camping at Riders Ranch it's another motorcycle only campground here around this region so we'll get across the ferry first, then we'll get on Highway 3A. There's the ferry right over there, if you can see it through the trees. Now that road, Highway 3A from Crawford Bay to Creston, is also one of my favorite roads. It's such a beautiful scenery that follows the lake all the way down and it cuts in and out along the lakeside lots of curves on that road anyhow we're gonna do it it looks like it's a good enough day to really enjoy the video on this well we'll see what happens well come ride with me on highway 3a Well, we're here at Belfer Terminals for a ferry ride that'll take us over to Kootenai Bay. And there's the port right there, the ramp to get on. And it'll go up the lake that direction right there to get to Kootenai Bay. What I remember of this one, and I guess we'll see in a half hour or so, that there's steel decking to get on. And I remember riding onto here in some rainy days and it's uh, a little iffy sometimes. Boy, just in the time that it took us on this ferry ride to get to Kokanee Bay, the wind really picked up if you look at the trees. And there's a storm coming in. Well, we just passed Crawford Bay. Now we're heading south to Creston. And the weather's hitting us a little bit here, but as long as it doesn't get too bad, I don't need to put the rain gear on. So this section of 3A, when you ride on this road in the late afternoon, on a sunny, beautiful day, and the way the sun comes through the trees right off the water is the sun will set on my right hand side and it just makes this such a gorgeous road to ride on
out into a little bit of rain again. So much for trying to outrun it. <laughs> you know, hitting these pockets of rain. It reminds me of the last time I was on this road. And I think I did that in 2017 maybe, or 2016, one of the two. And I seem to remember I hit some whole bunch of rain and bad weather on that time also. <laughs> maybe it's me. That's the weather in BC. But I see blue sky ahead. It's gonna get good. It's gonna get better. How's that? I know my wife's gonna say, your grammar is so bad, it's almost as bad as your spelling. <laughs> yeah, I admit it. <laughs> new blacktop this is a treat that first section there there was a bunch of the right hand road that was starting to or right side of the lane that was starting to drop away so it looks like they repaired this section but new blacktop's a real treat well here I am at Riders Ranch I made it a little tired it was a little longer than I wanted to ride today but it's all good anyhow I wanted the video rolling in here but it didn't work I got here and I found out the camera wasn't on <laughs> how many times does that happen anyhow time to set up and then I'll show you around the campground here pretty soon there I'm set up again <laughs> night after night anyway it's all good it's all part of the fun so we're here at Riders Ranch and uh, I'm gonna show you on the map rather than waiting until the next morning where I went today so we started off at Toad Rock and what I did is I went did 31A and then I went up to Sandon right up here and then I backtracked because I like that road so much I went down here to the ferry and we cut across over to Crawford Bay came down this road all the way to Creston and then came up here right around there we're at Riders Ranch right now okay time to go to the saloon it's over there so here we are at Riders Ranch and we're walking into the Saggy Sack Saloon So this is the common area in the Saggy Sack Saloon. And they even got a little section in the corner here for when they get some music here. So it's such a cool place just to hang out at the end of the day of riding. I really like coming to this place. Then off to the side of the common area, they got a common kitchen for the riders here. <laughs> 